Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. There's a question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Tony Kroos. His passing range is second to none, Peter. He can ping it out to either wing with wonderful accuracy or play a cute through ball into the box when under a lot of pressure. His teammates will be looking to get him on the ball as often as they can because they know how much he can hurt defences. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. the way Rudiger hoists it forward Kimmich Kimmich goes looking there were better options before the ball was lost easy to save from up here I know it's a great gallop down the right hand side Kimmich massively it's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. A great delivery and a finish to match. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Germany go ahead, one goal to the good. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? He gets past his man. Gnab going for goal! A real chance and a real let off. Still a cracking effort. Really looked like a man on a mission the way he went through on goal. Tony Kroos, and it's played forward. Gnabry, full steam down the flank. Gnabry, Gnabry! It's a loose ball. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. In with the challenge. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Forward it goes. Gets the better of his man. Werner. It's Werner! More pressure on the opposition goal. 
They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. And that'll be the last act of the first half. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal in his very, very tight. Reflections on the first half. Germany, I suspect, will be a little irked that they haven't established a, a bigger lead. However, they have the ability and personality to fix that. Germany leading 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. And it's Canabri. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Played into the middle. Close plays it for big chance. He scores. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected. A and that's surely a foul free kick. Great effort, but no way through. Gets into a dangerous position. Couldn't take as well there. Alert. Werner. Werner! They are rampant. And they are cruising away. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. Rudiger tries to get it for it's Verna! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Werner hoists it forward. And the referee brings it to a close. Germany, comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Your reflections then, Jim. Germany simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. Well, that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.